in Dallas Fort Worth, uh, a group of more than a dozen armed men showed up at a jack in the box. Why did they do it? Well, uh, they were there uh, for the open carry firearm demonstration, and which was a demonstration to, uh, to sh protest your right to carry firearms in public. Obviously, they were protesting for that right. Uh, we've got a picture of these guys, so they just walked in there. They walked in there with all their rifles, semi-automatics, all that good fun stuff. That looks like the manager, I think, is the second to the right, and he's like, what are these people doing here? Right. Um, the employees freaked out. They thought they were under attack, and they locked themselves in the freezer uh, until the cops arrived. 15 police officers arrived and uh, de-escalated the situation. If you look in the background, there's an employee, and he's like, those motherfuckers. <laughs> because they got really scared. I mean, they had yeah. absolutely no notice. These guys walked in with these pretty serious guns. And so they thought that they were going to get robbed. They ran into the freezer. They locked themselves in the freezer. And then they called the authorities, and about 15 cops showed up. And look, before we start discussing gun rights and all of that stuff, yeah. let me just say one thing. That was a really irresponsible way to Huge. protest because I'm super happy that no one got hurt because who knows, there might have been an employee there who was armed, yeah. there might have been a shootout. I mean, it would have been a complete another disaster. The cops could have showed up and they could have started a shootout. So I'm happy that it ended the way that it did. Once the employees found out what this was about, they're like, oh, cool, let's pose in the pictures, right? But it does raise a really interesting conversation about whether or not it makes sense to have open carry. Because there are benefits to open carry, and the benefit is you know exactly who is armed and who is not. Yeah. Um, or well, someone can obviously conceal as well. But it also puts you in a state of fear because now you know that all these people around you have these serious guns on them. Yeah, and then it becomes an epic game of one-upsmanship of who can have a bigger gun. The guy on the left, what, what is, he's walking around. He literally is in a fast food restaurant yes. with that gun, in case that's not clear by the picture. Now, this is irresponsible of me to say, but I wouldn't mind if someone shot those guys. Wow. <laughs> like, that's not nice to say, but I wouldn't mind. They don't mind scaring the shit out of people who are working. They don't mind scaring the shit out of everyone else because, so they can get a freaking get their thumb-sized dicks hard. That's all that is. Those guys have tiny penises. You don't you don't even have to think about it twice, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they never get laid either. I mean, look at them. And uh, so FYI, that, I don't have a gun. Yeah, uh, nor I. Huh? Right? Good for us. Oh, you guys must have huge dicks. Yes. That, well. You could <laughs> Yes. Thank you for playing along with us. <laughs> so, would you feel bad if someone shot that guy? If you would, you, you know, because uh, we just had a, we did a story a few weeks ago on how there was a guy being stabbed in an apartment in West Hollywood, and the cops showed up and they shot the two stabbing victims. Mm -hmm. And the guy who was doing the stabbing, they somehow got the knife out of his hand without shooting him. But uh, so, if the cops showed up here, these guys have guns. Why didn't they just start shooting? If this happened in West Hollywood, they'd be dead already, right? Because the cops start shooting. But uh, it would be okay. I would be okay with. That. Yeah, so Anna and I live in West Hollywood, and that street that that happened on is literally about three blocks away from where I live. I walk by it every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, they shot the wrong guy, and, yeah. and these things consistently happen. So it stands to reason the more people you put out there with guns, guns the more, the more yes. this is going to happen. I, I just don't understand the logic of this is not, who are these people keeping safe mm -hmm. with their right to carry this gun that they felt right. they could walk into a, a fast food restaurant? and uh, not, not be putting other people but on look, I, I, the look, I, I agree with people who say that they have a right to bear arms. I uh, believe you, that you know, it makes sense to have certain regulations to ensure that we only sell guns to people who should have guns or really want to have guns, but they're responsible members of society. When I see stuff like that, I don't see responsible members of society. You shouldn't be walking into a fast food restaurant with that type of weaponry. It's unnecessary, okay? It, it's, I understand that they're trying to make a statement. I understand that they're trying to protect their Second Amendment rights. But in this case, you put innocent people's lives in danger because when those cops showed up, they could have started shooting. They could have thought, hey, you know what? These People are armed, they're robbers, who knows what their intentions are. That would have been a disaster. And one employee who absolutely had nothing to do with this could have been shot and killed as yeah. a result of that. One of, the, one of the patrons could have, could have, seen, had a gun could on have them. seen them, yeah. right, seen three guys walk in with guns, and then be like, oh, they're about to rob, you the, know, rob the place, and bang, shot them. So yeah. yes, the, the, there's a never-ending cascade of things that could have happened. Wouldn't that make a normal person go, what? 
that that's legal in our country that you can walk around that heavily armed that's what it does it makes me I'm like how could that be legal well just think about it this way if you went to in and out here in LA and there was a guy sitting there with a semi-automatic on, <laughs> right. on the table would you leave I would leave I would definitely definitely leave. I remember the one thing that was really jarring about a trip to Mexico was you know they have um, authorities on these big trucks uh, carrying assault weapons and they do that as they're you know basically patrolling the streets. And I was there on vacation and that scared the shit out of me. Like I didn't feel comfortable seeing that. So yeah, absolutely, I would leave. Yeah. There's no question.